calling all fans of Deal or No Deal. Do you yeah. remember that game? Oh, yeah, of show? course. The, yeah, one of my the favorite cases. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Where Meghan Markle got her start. Um, it's back on, and now it's on an island. And it has players competing to find those briefcases, Maria. Yes. Worth more than $200 million. Yeah, so Anna and I recently caught up with reality competition icon, Boston Rob. Remember Boston Rob? So we talked about his journey on the show and what strategies he's bringing now from the past competitions. Watch. Deal or no deal. No deal! The game you know and love is back. This time on the banker's private island. It's a whole new game with a lot more money. Welcome to Deal or No Deal Island. This competition is the banker's test to find his ultimate opponent. I was a model on Deal or No Deal. I know what a good deal is. I know what a bad deal is. For everybody who says, I'm too old, I'm here to do it. And here comes Boston Rob. I want to figure out a way to control the game. And that's it. <laughs> Boston Rob, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're good. Although around here, you're just Rob because we're in Boston. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. It's been yeah. a lot of years. It's yeah. so good to see you. So we know you from all types of reality shows, from Survivor to Amazing Race. And now you're doing Deal or No Deal Island. So what are your thoughts so far and how can you compare them to your other reality experiences? I mean, I just can't get off the island, right? Yep. It's been over 20 years of doing this, and uh, all I can tell you is I love the competition. It's a new format that NBC came up with where they combine, you know, survivor elements with deal or no deal elements. And to be part of an inaugural season, to get out there and see if I still got it as the old guy was really appealing to me. And uh, so far, so good. I'm oh, enjoying it. We believe in you. You are known for that strategic mindset. <laughs> so what skills from the past competitions are you implementing in this one? You know, I actually got a degree from psychology over there at Boston University a lot of moons ago, and I've been using it, not in the traditional sense, but, you know, my mm -hmm. experience definitely comes into play, and I've always been physically active. I still play hockey, so I'm able to compete with those guys out there, and, uh, you know, I have a math, math the strategic type of thinking, I don't know, that just comes natural to me, and uh, I love to show Cases. What would you say is the biggest challenge so far competing on Deal or No Deal Island? Yeah, I mean, it's always the social aspect of the game because I have the strategic and physical aspects on lockdown. Unlike Survivor, there's not a suffering element this time. We're not foraging for our food. We get to <laughs> sleep in tents. So to me, it's like a five-star vacation yeah. out there. Yeah. The social element, dealing with the different people and personalities and figuring out how to navigate the intricacies of the game is always the part that takes the most uh, of my brain power. We, we can all relate to that. It's the people that are the hardest in life. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Everything else is easy. And you have that psychology major. You're working with a team. How did you assert yourself as a leader? You know, I think a lot of what I do in playing poker was really relevant in this game in that you have to pay attention to your opponents and kind of see if the story that they're trying to tell matches their actions. And then from that, you're able to assess whether or not they're with you or against you. And I know in the past that you've been known to kind of like take a player under your wing and then use that as a tool. Is that something you're doing in this game? Yeah, absolutely. Ironically, there was another kid from Boston. He's from Stoughton, Massachusetts. Grew up only about a mile away from where my parents are in Canton, 20 something years later, or earlier rather. And uh, he and I have kind of connected and, uh, you know, we're, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Although last week, you know, I found out, you know, I might not be his number one on the show. Uh, I'm still trying to, you know, use him as much as I I can and I'm sure he's trying to do the same with me. Yep. Oh, well, we love your Boston roots. What's your favorite thing about our city? 
I mean, it's got to be the sports, right? I love the Bruins, the Red Sox, the Celtics, the Patriots. I grew up as a Boston fan. In the background, you can see the painting my wife got me for my uh, wedding almost 20 years ago. And uh, Boston's always been a sports town, title town. And I'm super proud to be from that. That's right. And don't forget, you can watch Deal or No Deal Island right here on NBC10 Boston, Mondays at 10 or streaming on Peacock. You're going to love it if you were a fan of the original. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> After